my second video request. This video would be on blessing blockers. I'm working on a book right now um, called Identifying Blessing Blockers. So someone wanted me to talk a little bit about that. So here we go. And she, basically, she wanted me to talk about uh, basically identifying blessing blockers while you're fasting. You know, that's blocking you from fasting. Uh, and just identifying blessing blockers. First of all, when God call you on a fast, you will not have peace until you start doing what God called you to do. And what happens is when you don't obey God, it, 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 it causes, it's, it's, it's called a rebellious spirit. And you, you can read about that with Saul, King Saul and, you know, like first Kings, God calls Saul to do things and Saul would do what he wanted to do. And then he would deceive himself to make as make go as if he did what God called him to do. And he didn't. So we got to stop trying to do things our way. We got to do what God called us to do. So one of our blessing blockers definitely is rebellion. We got to stop being rebellious. When God tell us to do something and you know he's telling you to do it, it's for your best. It's not for God's best. If he tell you to leave somebody alone and you keep messing with that person, something's coming, coming up. N number two, another blessing blocker uh, stopping you from your fast or messing, uh, you know, with your blessings, blocking your blessings is offense. The Bible says that offense will come, but woe to those who bring them. You got to keep that in mind. People are going to offend you. We have to forgive them. Let me tell you what I do when somebody hurt me. I, I used to be, hold on to that offense. I can speak to you, hey, but hate you. Oh, holy baby. You hear me? I can hate you. But that blocks your blessings. And what? I mean, come on. We are Christians. Why do I want to hate you and not and be displeasing to God and not get all my fulfillment in here? If I'm going to hate somebody and not get the fullness of being a Christian, I may as well go back out there in the world and do what I want to do. Do what the flesh want to do. Because we got so many people sitting in the church holding on to offenses. And those things are causing, they wondering, what's wrong, God? Then they get mad at God because things are not going their way. you got to forgive people. I got a book called The Trap of Offense. And I wrote most of these books like back in 2011 and 2012. Why? Because I was doing a lot of fasting and got so many ideas from God. And he was he, he moved those blocks. He moved those blocks. So fasting, when you fasting, it moves blocks out of your way. You And I'm going to tell you another thing you got to be careful of. Adultery and lust. If you got adultery in your heart the bible says even if you look upon a woman to lust after her or a man you've already committed adultery with them in your heart if you know you you if you if you're messing with a married man and you know it if you're um messing around uh with somebody you're not married with and you having sex with them those things are definitely a blessing blocker you got to stop Fast your way out of that mess, baby. Get away, run fast while you're running. Then we got, uh, I was just thinking about, do like Joseph did. Joseph ran and left that garment right there. Run out of there and get away for your life. Because it was too much. See, Joseph had so much on store on the other side, in store on the other side of that temptation. You do too. You got so, why do you think the devil coming so hard? Because you got so much in store waiting on you. So that's a blessing blocker. Then um, food can be a blessing blocker because if God is telling you to fast and you can't fast because you love food so much, it's a blessing blocker and it's got to go. Bad communication. The Bible says that uh, corrupt communication, it, it'll ruin you. So if you got people in your life that's not focused like you are, even people in your life that God tell you to let go that you love so much and they love Jesus too. And if God tell you yeah, that, that's not going to work, cut that relationship off, cut it off. I had a friend like that. I loved her so much. I mean, me and this girl was inseparable. God told me to shut it down. I'm telling you, it took me a year to obey God. And that's, that was horrible because I was willing to keep this woman in my life versus obeying God. The devil is a liar. See, God knows stuff about people that we don't know. So now it's time 
to shut everything down. Remove the blessing blockers. Fast and pray so you can identify the blessing blockers and get your blessings. I love you all. I'm going to stop right here. Have a wonderful, blessed day. I'm going to do another video called Healthy and Unhealthy. I mean, healthy, unhealthy relationships versus dangerous relationships. I'm putting that. I'm going to talk about that in the, my men's book that I'm writing. My man's book. Uh, that I'm writing in correspondence with my wife me already. I got the man book coming real soon. But listen here, get yours. I love you. God bless.